He looms over the city like a big blue beacon of justice. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of The Tick, a hero with no secret identity. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline that unfolded in issue number one of 1988's The Tick, which was expanded upon in the cartoon and live action programs of the same name. Who was that blue stranger? He was the Tick. This satirical superhero was originally created by artist Ben Edlund as the fictional mascot for the newsletter for the New England comics chain of comic book stores. However, it quickly prompted its own black and white series, which later received colored editions. Interestingly, the Tick's costume was originally conceived to be brown, but he was instead made blue as it looked better in print and fit the character's comedic underpinnings. In the Tick's very first comic issue, he was first shown to be restrained by a straitjacket. Having already been confined for two months and feeling quite bored, he escaped. Answering the call of The City, known only as The City, he was soon dashing over the rooftops. With no memory of his previous life due to frequent blows to the head, the blue outfit he wore became his true identity. Aspiring to become a superhero, the Tick wielded such non-functional gadgets as his secret crime viewfinder. Exploring the city and causing more havoc than he prevented, the dim-witted do-gooder soon discovered that he possessed near invincibility. Hilariously, this meant that even though he was unable to be harmed, he could still be hurt and experience brain trauma. Interestingly, though the Tick is somewhat unique for having no real secret identity, or at least none that he can remember, he briefly took on the false identity of Neville Ned, a weekly World Planet crossword editor. Outrageously, the only disguise he wore consisted of a tie over his blue outfit, believing that it would hide his true identity. When in battle, the Tick wielded superhuman strength as well as drama power, the ability to naturally make situations more dramatic, all while shouting his iconic yet non-sequitous battle cry to throw his opponents into a tizzy. We must choose battle cries. You know, the cries we always emit just before leaping into battle. Oh, you mean like, not in the face, not in the face! Hmm, lacks force, chum. No, more like, like, uh... Spoon! <laughs> I don't get it. Spoon! Look, I'm just a sidekick. Over the years, he battled countless supervillain parodies, including a clan of ninjas. This likewise led him into situations where he got to encounter spoofs of other comic book heroes, like Elektra and Superman, before adopting his own sidekick, an accountant in a moth suit named Arthur. Frequently mistaken for a bunny rabbit, the high-flying sidekick acts as the conscience and brains of the duo. Suit doesn't do a lot for you. Make you look like a Easter bunny. It's a flying suit. Easter bunny can't fly. Well, I can. <laughs> I haven't yet. But all I have to do is go to the top of a building and jump off. Together, they aimlessly help folks in trouble in the never-ending struggle between good and not so good, frequently becoming embroiled in situations far beyond the tick's comprehension. A mysterious big blue bug of justice, this insane hero continues to explore a crazy world, never letting his limited knowledge of life interfere with his desire to protect humanity. The Tick continues to make readers laugh with his dim-wittedness, strange sense of humor, and inspirational speeches filled with outlandish metaphors. Listen, the flater mouse. Ow! We spent all night learning an important lesson. You can't judge a sewer by its manhole cover. A hero of unsung popularity, longtime fans continue to hope for a revival of the cartoons, as well as its short-lived live-action sitcom, which pitch-perfectly starred actor Patrick Warburton. The mysterious Blue Avenger who has become legend to the simple folk of this bus station. But glory will not distract him from his vigil. Are you a fan of The Tick? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Empty your bladder of that bitter black urine men call coffee! It has its price and that price has been paid! Huh. <sighs> Java Devil, you are now my bitch.